guys, it's Craig from CNN. We are here live at Eurogamer Expo. We are with Eric from Airtight Games, who is going to tell us a bit about um, their new game, uh, Murdered. Um, Eric, tell us a bit about yourself. Sure, I'm the uh, design producer at Airtight Games, so I, I head up the design team and I work with our uh, creative director, Sh Yosuke Shiokawa, who's actually from Square Enix, uh, and I help drive the design team towards finishing the game. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Um, uh, what is the game about? Technically, give us a bit of insight into what the game is about. Absolutely. Uh, Murdered is a supernatural murder mystery game where you play as Ronan O'Connor, a detective on the Salem PD who has been murdered, and now his goal is to track down his own killer and bring him to justice. It's a bit of a unique kind of uh, game, really. Um, is there anything like that at the minute? I don't think there is, is there? No, actually, we're, I feel like we're a pretty original. We're slotting into a pretty unique space right now. Uh, I don't really feel like that there's that much out there that's really doing exactly what we're doing. Okay, okay. Um, what kind of what what are we going to see it on? Are there, like, is it going to be like next gen release, or is it going to be more um, staying on like what we've got currently? Currently, we're working on 360, PS3, and PC. Those are our primary platforms. It's allowed us to really focus on the game as opposed to doing R and D on a new platform. So, could we see a possible release maybe on them, or would that be a, a sequel if there was one to come? The future is unwritten. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, uh, how you, uh, like well, obviously in the dev uh, talk where we come and watched him, um, it showed that obviously there's going to be um, like devils and demons that you would like fight. Um, in the demo, obviously you showed that you had to be kind of sneaky to take them out. As the game progresses, will you be able to uh, like fight them head on, or is it literally going to be a fight kind of like you've got to get behind them because they are that strong kind of thing? Right. No. The the goal always is that they are in this overwhelming presence. And if you try to fight them head on, you're going to fail. It's really to build the suspense and tension of this, this limbo realm that you're stuck in. So we want all of the, the combat encounters to be really thought out and really careful. We don't want the player to just sort of going in like any other action game. We're, we're really not an action game in that sense. Um, like, like we said, we saw some like really, really amazing footage. Um, like I, I like the way that the character's got a bit of mystery to himself and that, and obviously he knows what he does. I like the way as well that in certain like aspects of the game, you actually have to use his detective skills to go through each level. So would you like to tell us a bit more about how he will use his detective skills to progress through the game? Absolutely. So, obviously in life, Ronan was an excellent detective, and so he brings that ability of analysis with him into the dusk. This gives him the opportunity to, to make really discreet observations about the clues that he's investigating. Uh, but that's only one facet of what he is capable of. Now that he's trapped in the dusk, he's actually capable of things that he was never capable of when he was alive. He can possess people, he has abilities that he can utilize while he's possessing them, look through their eyes, influence their thoughts, things of that nature. He can actually reveal memories back into the dusk, which is the which is one of sort you it's a really unique ability that only ghosts have, and it allows us to take the player in directions in the investigations that they wouldn't be able to go to otherwise. That's pretty cool. Um, would we see like a sort of um, leveling tree, like you see in most games, where like say if you had like a spe like you have you have obviously your starting abilities. Is there like where you can have like level that, like a certain skill to like level five to obviously like progress in that certain skill, like or is it just going to be as the cat like as your character levels, he will level as in like it'll just get better. Yeah, more the latter. Uh, we're not. We're, we're much more of a, a traditional adventure game, where we do have a few powers, and you do acquire them over the course of the game, and you do upgrade as you make your way through the game, and you get new powers, and you make your abilities stronger. But we're not really. We don't really have a, a, a specific skill set that you sort of discreetly choose from, because we, the emphasis for us is on the mystery. It's on the investigations. It's on the story. And so we, we really wanted to drive players towards that, rather than having to think about uh, a man management of skills and skill trees and things of that nature. Well, I've got to say from the dev talk and all the, the preview and the demo that you showed us, it, the game really did look amazing. Awesome. Um, if anything, I'm going to honestly say to fans and even to yourself, okay. it looks like a game that will drag me back to the 360. <laughs> it will bring me back as in like, so it's not as if the 360 is done and dusted with games like this coming sure. straight back onto the market. Um, yeah, that's what we've got time for, viewers. Uh, we'll sign off with that. Uh, stay tuned for our next videos and that. Um, this has been Eric uh, from Airtight Games, and we'll see you in the next video. Help! Help! Get back! Get back here! I said, get back here!